but he knows he plays different. Maybe his more aggressive style is exactly what he needs to kind of really combat Kirkiba's more aggressive style than other DJs. Yeah. So we'll see if there's uh, an adjustment, or not so much an adjustment, but uh, let's see if there's a real stylistic difference between Kelvin and Tyler Gray. All right, uh, Kurokiba just played Ty uh, Tyler J, but as we've said many times before, same character, different player. Yeah, completely different play styles. Different wow. setups, different te different technology, different knowledge yep. of the matchup. Yep. If you, yeah, if you were to put it very generally, it's just different approach to the game. If you wanted to put it as general as possible. But yeah, it really comes down to the setups, it comes down to the play speed, and it comes down to the risk reward factor. And Kelvin is going in right now. And he is getting big damage very quickly. Kirikiba is having a much harder time oh, wow. to zone him than he did with Tyler J, it seems like. Oh, and he goes for the <laughs> reset God. for the big damage. And that's something you really don't expect, especially if there's not even Ultra 1 to go to. He's picking at his face. He's like, uh. Yeah, he's like. All murder face. Kelvin's ready the to kill. Face. Kelvin's definitely ready to kill. Murder face. <laughs> we saw the murder face, man. He's just ready to kill. <laughs> There's no commentary to go with that. It's just murder face. You just have to say it. I respect it, though. Kelvin's definitely trying to keep this game at a really fast pace. So yeah. it gives Kurokiba a really hard time trying to adjust yes. when he's getting yeah. his face mauled. He's been, Look at this. He's, he's been used to Tyler J's style the whole time. I like that extra dashing. He wants oh that Oh, my God. Guy. Wow. That was crazy. <laughs> that was just insane resets Julio, right Julio now. Julio is just rubbing his hair. He's like, oh my god. Yeah, who is I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what I'm looking at right now. <laughs> All right. Kurokiba was trying to create some space just so he has some room to breathe, really. Yeah, exactly. Getting some zoning together when really he's just been battling to keep Kelvin away, but Kelvin's been in the whole time. Now he's finally had some breathing room, and he ends up counter hitting the command grab. Oh, wow. I hate to see that Great happen. space. Oh, that looks good. Oh, anti-air ultra. Yes, there is a great spacing for that, and he found it. Let's see where this momentum takes him. Oh, oh, and here Kiba Nipson in the blood. Great play from him. He was thinking either I'm going to tech a throw or I'm going to get that throw. I'm pretty sure he teched out of panic. I'm just saying. I'm not trying to call anybody Well, it out, wasn't a crouch tech. It was definitely a stand tech, so that's at least more intentional. I suppose, yeah. If we're going to give out as much credit as possible. <laughs> <laughs> as much credit as possible. Yeah. And here Kiba sitting on a lot of meter right now. If he hits that one so by, it's going to lead to big damage. And something to notice is that Kirikiba picked Ultra 2 for this matchup. I don't know why. I have no idea. Because Kirikiba is not one to go for the hit oh confirm off the machine gun upper. We've already seen that Kirikiba can't tech. It gets even worse when there's command grabs in the mix. Yeah. And Kelvin really looking to end the round now. He, he really feels that his high aggression is what got him here. And he thinks that's, that's what's going to end it for him. But Kirikiba doing a much better job of battling him back. And this is a position that's so different. Oh! Amazing! That was sick! That was the sickest ultra. <laughs> oh my god, PR Borong actually hug 